instructor, Julia Grab. In this video, I'm just going to walk you through quickly the Photoshop layout and show you a few of the tools. So I just wanted to um, introduce you to Creative Cloud Desktop. This is a great place to launch your applications. When you download Photoshop, Dreamweaver, it comes with its Creative Cloud Desktop. And this is where you can log into your account and see some of your settings and preferences. Let's dive into Photoshop now. I've created a new file um, just to show an example. Because if you don't have a new file open in Photoshop, you can't really see a lot of the tools and panels. So first step is to create a file. Um, and once you create a file, of course, maybe save it right away um, in the appropriate locations that your um, file is saved and ready to go. Let's take a look at some of the really important panels in Photoshop. So right now, I'm in the Workspace Essentials. This is the default. Um, if you move things around, close some panels, or tools get reset, you can always reset your essentials to get back to the regular view here and see all the tools that you need. So layers at the bottom here, I'm just going to expand this. If you want to rearrange things, you can always minimize and maximize some of the panels. We're going to take a look at layers because that's how uh, images are built in Photoshop. They're all built off of layers. So by default, you're always started with the background layer. Here you can see I've got checkers, which means it's a transparent background. I like to layer my backgrounds as BG, just to help me see that I do have a, a layer there. It is a background layer. So I always create a new layer before I add any elements to my Photoshop image. Each element should be in a different layer. So if I add some text here, just this basic lorem ipsum, and I use my move tool, I can move and position it here centered, just like you're being asked to do in the classwork this week. As well, if I wanted to draw some things using the Polygon Select tool, Polygon Lasso, it's really important that when you're clicking here to select, that you click all the way back to the start so you get this tentative selection that you actually need to finish by either stroking or filling. But you see here, when I go to my edit view, I don't have the ability to stroke or fill. That is because I don't have this current shape that I've drawn using the polygonal lasso tool in a new layer. It's in a text layer, so that won't allow me to do that. So you can create new layers after the fact. That works too. Now I've got this selection here in a new layer, and I can edit and stroke my selection with whatever uh, line width I want, with whatever color I want. Um, and see the results. So now I've got a five pixel red line around the selection here. So again, this was just a really basic in, um, introduction to um, layers. One other thing I should mention is if you have a selection and you don't like it, Control D is to deselect. So that again is Control D, and it's a very useful tool. Make sure you're always saving frequently. And under the preferences here in Photoshop under general. I always also set my preferences under file handling to save automatically every five minutes for recovery. Because Photoshop's a very large application, it can crash frequently. So having that automatic recovery, saving every five minutes um, will prevent you from losing a lot of data in your file if Photoshop does crash. So good luck and please post any questions you have in the Q&A.